Uh, we're going to talk about don't ask, don't tell, and you get the first question. This is Engel. A federal judge's order to halt enforcement of the military's don't ask, don't tell policy was hailed by gay activists as a landmark ruling in their struggle to expand their rights. Don't you think it's time to end discrimination of gays and lesbians in our military? First question. Second question. How do you feel about such Republicans as Dick Cheney and Laura Bush coming out in favor of gay rights? The um, policies within the military, especially this one, are under review right now. And we should be waiting for the review of our military to make those decisions, not jumping ahead and making those decisions as Senator Reid tried to do when he put that provision in the defense bill. We in, here in Nevada have been very careful to define the marriage as between a man and a woman through two general elections. Over 70 percent of our population has voted to uh, define marriage as between a man and a woman. I support what Nevada has done, and I will represent our constituents on that basis. And what do you think about Republicans such as uh, former Vice President Dick Cheney? and First Lady Laura Bush coming out in favor of gay rights? That, of course, is their personal opinion and their prerogative. Every American has the freedom of uh, speech, and they have the freedom to have an opinion. That's great. Okay. Senator Reid. Mitch, I respectfully suggest to my opponent that she simply doesn't understand what went on in Washington. The bill that came up to do away with Don't Ask, Don't Tell said that it could only be done away with if the Secretary of Defense signed off on it and the President of the United States and both of them certified that it would not hurt our defense. And they could only do that after a report was issued by the Pentagon as to whether or not it was good for the military. So it was the right thing to do. The legislation on the Senate floor didn't say we're going to get rid of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It said that a Republican Secretary of Defense appointed by President Bush along with President Obama would have to certify that it would ha do no harm to our troops only after the report by the Pentagon came down. Okay, Mrs. Engel. Well, I submit to you that that's the wrong way to do legislation, just like when Nancy Pelosi said that we should pass the bill and then read it. We should be looking at that review before we make bills based on that review. So the review needs to come out first and then the bill. So I submit to you, Senator, that I do know the process. The process is read the bill first and then pass it.